And another good example, probably the most famous example of tool use among birds, is, is, a, is a species that's come to be known in recent years as one of the most intelligent bird species. There is the New Caledonian crow. I know you've spent a lot of time in the field in New Caledonia observing this species. Uh, what can you tell us about that bird and its intelligence? Yeah, it's um, renowned for its ability to use um, to, to solve problems. It's really an, a, astonishing in that way, and um, and also because of its ability to make and use its own complex tools. But I just want to tell you, the first time I met this crow, I it was there was one sitting in a shrub right outside my hotel room, and I went out, and I was you know so excited to see this bird, and it looks just like our crows, our American crows. You know, it's, it's quite, it, it, you know, and, and it has a, a kind of similar sound. Ours, our crow has a, a caw and it, the New Caledonian crow has more of a, like a whack. But these birds are just amazing problem solvers. You know, they have, um, uh, I worked with a um, Alex Taylor, who does experiments with the, the New Caledonian crow, and he devised an experiment with a bird named uh, 007. <laughs> and it was a, an eight-stage puzzle that required the bird to solve each puzzle at, the, at, at each stage, and then there was a little bit of food at the chamber at the end. Um, and the bird had seen the different stages of the puzzle at different points in its um, in its history, but it had never seen them in this particular order. And it required using one tool to get another tool to get another tool, all of which 007 did in a little uh, over two minutes. Um, so these birds are just phenomenal problem solvers, but they're really renowned for their um, their ability to make and use their own complex tools. Um, and I watched them, uh, one bird making a hook tool, which is, which is basically a, a stick with a, a little hook on the end of it that the bird uses to poke into um, holes in trees and plants, and it extracts grubs that way. Well, it's the only species other than humans to make hook tools. And um, and they make them from sticks. They also make them from pandanus leaves, which are leaves that have um, little hooks on the edges of the leaves. And the birds, they craft these very elaborate staged tools. And um, and they, they, they make them um, by snipping out the, the whole shape from the leaf um, as if, you know, they have a whole a model in their mind of the particular tool. And what's really cool is that the birds, first of all, they live only in New Caledonia, nowhere else on the planet. And the, they have different um, styles of tool making in different parts of the island, which are um, transmitted uh, from uh, adults to young. So, you know, the faithful transmission of tool design, that is a really good definition of culture. Uh, just astonishing birds. I have to say, 007 sounds quite a lot smarter than some people I know. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, I know people who could put together eight tools in their <laughs> head and figure that out in two minutes. I know plenty of people who would struggle with that. I tell well, you, I go, I go to the grocery <laughs> store with more than three items on the list. I have to have a you know printed list. It's not no way. Well, Diego, you you make a good point, which is that this this particular puzzle requires a lot of working memory which is that, you know, the ability to hold in mind um, elements while you're solving a problem. And it's true that a lot of us, you know, we struggle to, to remember what we were looking for when we go into the next room. You know, it's just, uh, uh, it's quite amazing. 